to make it all possible. That's right. Bethany Crouch live with a look behind the scenes of Beauty and the Beast. I'm so excited about this. Yes, it is a tale as old as time. So honored to be here. And we get a little sneak peek. We've got Gaston. He is the, the beefcake over there in the white tank top. Yeah, oh, yeah we see. That's a beefcake right there. Gaston <laughs> and the foe who's right next to him. And all of his pals, this is for one of the scenes. Gaston and his buddies in the tavern. I want to introduce everybody to Glenn Casal. He is going to be directing this fantastic show. Thank you. Kicking off opening June 20th. Two weeks from yesterday. Weeks. So we have a very special treat for everyone. Follow me. We're taking you into the behind the scenes. This is the wig department, and this what? is major. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let Scott push past me and show off some of these incredible wigs while the artists are working on them. Glenn, um, what makes this production so special is that you were just in Europe staging with these fantastic costumes, and you were able to get permission to bring them to Sacramento. Yes, we brought the wigs and costumes from, from Europe. John McGinnis and I have been doing it in Europe since 2005. Every year we've been over there. Eight different countries, eight different languages. So it's the first time in America with these costumes and wigs. First time in America, and it's so special because no matter where you are in the music theater circus, you are 60 feet from the action. It's right there on stage, theater in the round. It's so spectacular. And um, as Scott is kind of panning around showing you the artists at work with the wigs, I want to pull in Christine Conklin, who is in charge of this wild department over here. Uh, this is actually one of the beast wigs here. Um, this is real human hair. Yes, it is. And you guys, I, this, this takes countless hours. I mean, to understand how much detail it takes to put these together, every single hair mm -hmm. has to be, has to be what, what you're hand sewing it in. Hand tied on there, hand tied um, with the tiny, tiny crochet hook, I mean, piece by piece into the lace. That is, it, it's wild to think about. And they take, so if we look at this, this, for example, is really, it looks like a mop of yak hair, which is exactly what it is. They work with yak hair and human hair, all sorts of different um, Type synthetic hair even, and then they transform it into something that is fit for the spotlight right there on stage. Um, Glenn, I know that your team, from behind the scenes to on stage, all the actors, the seamstresses, your wig department, your makeup, your hair, uh, you guys have been working countless hours to get this production ready. Yes, and we've been working months to get this production ready. We started in December trying to organize everything. It's a big show, and it's going to be spectacular in the round. So one of the things that I, I think really it just makes Sacramento so proud is to hear that year after year people want to come back. Um, who, oh, huh? so we lost Bethany, but oh my gosh, how cool was that to oh, see that behind and the, the wig department? Right? I love it. Great I love show it. Coming, said, uh, coming up very soon. Yes, and we starting in two weeks from yesterday. On June twentieth. All right, Miss Sacramento County has.